Coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The Russian is 31. The Brazilian is 45. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 196 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Razor. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty close. They're very clear game plans. 
but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively. The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situations. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Mirko Menov gets the early takedown. Nice start to the round for him. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, beautiful hook there. Just misses there with the left. It's such a fast leg kick. Muay Thai plump. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big, powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Caught that kick there. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Got the single collar tie. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Here he is back in the clinch. Oh, head kick. That one landed clean. Oh, goes for the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Plus the shot. Massive knee lands from the tight Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Beautiful strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, big left hand there. Into the final minute of this championship fight. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beats his leg up. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. And there comes the separation now. Nermago Medov's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has...
the best chin. It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Yeah, round one, yeah. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. Yeah, very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch to the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Oh, he needs to be there. That does not taste good. Right. That is how you should be, folks. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Nermago Meta. Oh, collar tie. Dig and kick. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking. Fight. Back and forth we go. So flush, mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Visibly limping here. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well placed kick there by Nermago Meta. Oh, single collar tie here. You're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches in the head. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Look at the turtle in that kick. Triangle. 
There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he goes parallel, right? Next to his opponent. When is time? And this might just be a matter of time. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a corner, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, not only is he... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they separate. Cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice, sneaky head kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice punch lands over the top. And they separate. Just out of range with that left hook. Lands with the right hand. Plus right hand is true. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Nermago Meta. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And they separate. Here's the kick blocked by Nermago Medov. There's no give on that leg kick. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Uh, big head kick. Cut lands for him. <laughs> Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Nermago Medov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Lands flush with that right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lands a switch. Nermago Medov gets caught by the elbow there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look at notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. What a punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. It's broken, I think. Good stick. 
Ooh, now he's got the tie plus Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai flinch. Lands a big elbow there. DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Final seconds of round three. Oh! That's three rounds, we're now headed to the championship rounds. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible Ready. five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Nirvago Medoff gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Ooh, what a head kick. It's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Beautiful punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with the right. Oh, and he lands another. Whoa! He's got to go chase that finish down now. So, fight a little bit stunned, holding on to him now. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, in boxing class, hands up, chin down. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. takedown without issue. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? 
anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Collar tie. Right hand punch. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nice. Ooh. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. to go. Oh, straight right. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Tags him with the left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch, man, over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. And they separate. Muay Thai club. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, take down there by Navago Meta. Oh, what a punch. Nervago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, big punch land. These are bad. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He is getting lit up right now, John. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice move to punch. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. That's a pretty good right hand there by you. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Head kick. Single collar tie now. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, straight right.
caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, there comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Razor. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.